I've said it before and I'll say it again. This channel is a terrible resource for safety advice. Really, I'm going to teach you how to ride off loading docks and in the same breath tell you how to do it safely? Seems a little insincere. I set other bad examples too, like wearing a single impact helmet in a skate park. The folks over at Plus Size BMX were quick to point that one out, and they're right. I should know better than that. So although I'll never be qualified to provide safety advice, I can certainly up my own safety game a bit. Yes, getting a proper BMX helmet is on the list, but I decided to start by replacing my mountain bike helmet. After all the impacts it's taken, it's not much more effective than a hat now. This should have been replaced a long time ago, as should any helmet which has been in a crash. I didn't even notice these cracks in the foam until after a much closer inspection. So here's my new enduro helmet, the Kali Protective's Maya. This won't be a very critical review because this is probably the nicest helmet I've ever had. I'm actually excited to wear this thing. Not only is it really lightweight and comfortable, but it looks dope. The straps are easy to adjust with these quick release buckles and the mechanism on the back really hugs your head. While the visor on my old helmet popped off months ago, this visor is held on in a much more substantial way. To summarize, this helmet addresses pretty much every concern a rider could have, including one which is especially important to me, a secure, integrated mount for a light or an action camera. This is the perfect excuse to show you guys some of the stuff I strapped to my head. My camera of choice is the GoPro. I have two, a Hero 3 Silver and a Hero 4 Black. These cameras come with protective housings that effectively double their weight and size, so I use this little frame with a lens cover instead. It may not be waterproof, but it sure is lighter. On the visor of my new helmet, I can barely feel it. Sometimes I use a stabilizer, usually if I'm filming other riders like I am here. In those instances, I have this battery-powered gimbal on my head. Here I'm following Phil Metz through the woods. Some people ask that this was done with a drone. That goes to show you how important it is for me to have this mount. Sometimes I do need to mount the camera on the back of my helmet, in which case I use this adapter here to get a cool leading shot. In any case, I think the design of this helmet is going to make the weight of this stuff less noticeable, as it really feels secure on my head. That aside, the big win here is that my head itself is now a little more secure. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time. Oh my god, what about-